you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen you're so watching the destiny show right over here my name is mc dogo destiny and i'm so privileged that you're following us and today <laughs> we are yet live again from cafe styling welcome to lira city a very beautiful city that is in northern part of uganda on the destiny show i always bring a lot and a lot of uh stuff right here i bring in culture i bring in uh, politics i bring in so much things right here and basically on a beautiful day like this we are talking about talent when we talk about talent we have uh, talent there are those who have talent in dancing that those who have talent in singing that those who have talent in uh, various field that they survive on and as well today i am so privileged to have a lady on set with me and uh, a lady who is doing something Something so unique, something that most ladies are not, you know, are following in. When you talk of music and you talk of rap music, and when you take a look uh, uh, in the country, you find that we have Ke we have Keiko that uh, went away for some time and just came back, and then we had Rachel Ray that uh, is doing, and but it's not even true, you know, on. Too much hip hop on a line. So, the kind of a few in the country. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Sophie Irina Kolo, aka Real Meads. Real Meads? Yeah. Is there a combination that brings the Real Meads name in this aka Akolo stuff? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. um, real is, stands as a word on as its own. One. Yes. It just describes generally who I am. I'm real. Okay. And uh, Meads, it's a combination of uh, four names. And what foreign name yeah that you brought them together to yeah sure them. making maids yeah sure can you tell us about yourself all right um i am a, a lao from lia mm -hmm. both my parents uh originate from here okay. i'm a student uh, at the university okay. uh uganda matters university in kozi that is maine mm -hmm. and i am doing bachelor's in social work and social administration okay yeah so uh apparently i am home on a holiday yeah. uh at the same time doing my internship but few programs brought me back home okay. yeah and uh i'm a dancer as well so oh, wow. yeah sure i i have a dance crew called the impactors yeah, yeah and i'm recognized with them okay. yeah what about the rapping thing the singing stuff and all that yeah um if i can say rap was the first thing that came to me when i discovered i can actually write lyrics i can rap you know yeah uh, way back in my primary five i that's when i discovered I can write lyrics and sing, especially hip hop. If I'm to ask way back in primary five, that's when you realize you uh, you could write. Oh yeah, your sure. Your own song. Sure. And sing. Sure. What was the topic about? If you can remember your first song, what All was right. the topic about? Was it All a mama right. kind of, uh, you know, the baby Gloria kind of a music or? What? Oh no, hell no! It wasn't mm -hmm. like that. Actually, me discovering the fact that I can write lyrics and sing them that was way back when in my school I was um, humiliated, if I can say. Okay. Um, people laughed at me being from a, a humble background. You know, I wasn't this kind of rich girl. <laughs> you know, and uh, I didn't have classic things like my friends. You know, so they would call me and be like, Nah, she's a low class girl. She can't do anything okay so i kept this and wrote them down and sang about it am i being too demanding if i ask a line on that lyrics uh a little because I, I don't know if i can recall right now way back 2013 <laughs> you know but i think i get a few but though not all honestly not all oh my god then that's beautiful so uh, what, who inspired you to do rap music um <sighs> Jenny, if I can say, it was as hung. I loved following all hip hop, okay. the Fifty Cent's, the Fat Joes, you know, the Barstars, the Eminem's, the Lil Wayne's, you know, and so I, I, I discovered that I can easily listen to them and write the song down, especially Lil Wayne. You okay. get, and so if I I can say he inspired me the more here, you know, to know what the flow song? of rap. What song of Lil Wayne? I mean to you. I mean to you. Nah, not can loving most, but. Yeah the one that drove me to start writing hip hop you know all right the camera is there lil white Ooh. give us a verse <laughs> all right okay i think it's it is i mean to you no problem i just right. need the part for lil white okay okay oh my god do i still recall how it starts you can start from anywhere okay 
oh my god i'm into you mm -hmm. like parachute and need it damn can i have a minute to recall the intro of the rap any other song for lil wine lil wine that you're good at okay throw Do down I... on me and grow the wild flower no, i know Love a million a million, yes, go ahead. I don't know the lyrics though, I just know how it flows. I want the song for Lil Wine. All right. As th that stands as your inspiration, is your inspiration, you're right? I need just a song for Lil Wine that you can All right. beat it bad. All right. Mm. Any song. Okay, now, hey, I'm the tune, the man on the moon. I live on the beach, get the same naughty shoes, and all of that changed since I met ya. So we can leave the old true in the restroom. Okay, now I'm into you, but like you never do. I'm falling for you, baby. I need a parachute. It's so wet, I need a wetsuit. You're way too fly, I can be your jet fill. Now tell me what you like. I like what you tell me. Then if you understand me, then you can overwhelm me. It's too late, yeah. It's too late. Everything's like the beginning of a new race, young money. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can listen right over here. I'm telling you, I am getting, I am. Oh my God. You listen to the rap right over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Young money is too late, what and all wow. that. Rap music, if you don't understand rap music, it's kind of, uh, I don't know if all rappers sing about their life or the things that are happening, the situations and all that. Um, but I, if I'm to remember the guys that I used to like them, if, if I was to rap, I would say um, Camelonea would be my inspiration. Well, I love this song. My best song from Camelonea is uh, Good Morning. All right. Good morning. Yeah. Uh huh. Hey, I know it. Hey, I love that one. Then, uh, which other rapper I love the most? I love Eminem. I love him too. And then, um, there, there's that song that was saying, You could try to read my lyrics. I'm ready to get the following. But, but you can take this them, thing and it's worse than far sand. Sand. This Cause thing away, I'm gonna let you stop me from causing that. I do it. I do it. I do this for me. So fuck the world if you can think. This guy stop. Uh, well, I'm a be what I say a lot to me. Uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I ended up being a rapper oh. on this show. Yet I'm the us right over here. And we are still coming in live from Cafe Stalling. And if you need to come and have a good time, a funky time, you need to be on your laptop. As you're working on those documents, yet you can come around over here. I got myself a coffee. And I don't want to tell you how it feels drinking a coffee at this time until you come and test it on your own. Sure. And we are still back here, my dear. Um, only Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is your only inspiration. Not really. Mm -hmm. um, Who else is your inspiration? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is your inspiration. Yeah, I love Any her. Any song from Nicki that you know? Um... Uh... High school. High school. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, another one. Um, there is high school. There is Megatron. If you are not gonna be a rapper, if 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 it was not rap, what do you think? Another talent. What do you think you would be apart from a dancer as well? Apart from a dancer. Let's take away the entertainment kind All right. of shit. I'm maybe. a writer. A writer. I write articles you know articles, yeah poems, and poems yeah generally i'm writing a good one though i'm not yeah. so much into it but i love writing a lot you're, too you're thinking about that line mm -hmm, real okay. so um how many songs do you have right now apparently i can say i have three you have three mm. Mm, the first one is called the first one is called shut up shut up yeah can you give us a a a, a cappella of the shut up shut up <laughs> all right all right shut it up for us okay i got you i got you mm -hmm. from the first time i saw you love was in a band yeah we mm. could hit the band thinking you could do the band then i surfaced to you just hoping you could let me enter got the dirty love and know that you could suit it better shut it out loud let me hear you say come and get it make me part of that baby come and get the shooting stars when i'm out of time bitches want to drum me crazy better let you in cause i thought you could turn each more alive look at me tell me the time what could it be yeah cause i'm trying to be real i never want to pretend that whether you do is you're making me feel i'm new the pretty girls in the scanner taking me fucking my time from the first line to the last line, I don't want to be fucked up. When the first match okay. in the club, baby, don't smile. The, the, the other part, crazy. you said something up. Let's stop oh. there. It's okay, let's stop <laughs> there. The other, the other part, you said something up. Okay. Let's stop there. Oh, yeah, if, sure. We got to show. If they tell me to repeat what you have said, 
Uh, after repeating, they will give me my salary. Oh my God. The landlord will chase me because I will not get that salary. Oh my so God. That's your first song. Oh yeah, sure. The second song is? Uh, it's called Nobody Compared. It's a gospel. Nobody Compared. It's yeah. a gospel. Yeah, it's a gospel. Uh, somebody was telling me that if you see artists singing gospel music, they're about to die. I don't oh. know. <laughs> nah, it's not real. It's not no, real. I have not meaning that. So, what are the challenges you, you uh, so far, you're facing as a young girl coming into the industry? Um, what do you think are the challenges you're facing? Apparently, the biggest challenge is financially based. Financially based. Yeah, financially, and then uh, getting a stable promoter or a manager. Okay. That's the biggest challenge right now, since it's my first time bring like introduced into the music world. Okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think that's it, honestly. Honestly, yeah. that's it. Financially, that's financially. the biggest. Yeah. Okay, then what are the goodies so far you have seen in the music? Mm. What have you felt? The, 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 you know, the aroma? The aroma of, the, of the music world? Uh -huh. uh, looking at the content of my lyrics, mm -hmm. people loving it, and the kind of beats that I put into the music has made me feel that people really love what I bring out. People love what you bring out. Sure, they really so do. So it's, it's, it's kind of giving you some more. Exactly, it's motivating me. I'm inspired to do more than I can. Okay, so what do you see? Uh, where do you see yourself in the next two years? In the next two years, I see myself. Hi. Um, maybe nationally. Nationally. But at least I will have motivated a lot more youths yeah. to do the same thing that I can do, perhaps even better, you know? Because first of all, my lyrics is motivational, okay. encouraging, and yeah, telling people to push a little harder and work hard, you know? And so when they get this, maybe they can also tell the same people, value what I do, like the same thing, maybe lyrically or whatever it takes. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Sure. That's after two years. Oh, yeah, sure. After two years. Okay. Yes. What plan do you have for home people? Mm, I want to. Wow, I want to raise them out of that level. You want to you wanna raise them? Yeah, I want to. Okay. Um, just by blink of an eye, a magic is to happen and you are to have a collab with an artist in Lira. In Lira, in Lira. Mm. Which artist could be that? Mm, I wouldn't say I love Maris. Okay. Yeah, he got the talent, he knows what he does, and he does it with all it takes. But will Maro sing rap? This one you're saying, I get up, I get up, I get up. No, like, th th this kind of songs, let me say, he's going to do the vocal point of view. Okay. I'm going to bring in the rap myself. My rap cannot be a chorus, it can be a verse, you know, and he's going to do the rest, you know. Do you know that thing happened to me during Corona? People wow. are singing in church, I don't know lyrics, so first mass was helping me. Okay. Some people were thinking that I was using first mask to 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 prevent one, oh, yeah, one, one, yeah, one. But sure. I was using it also to to save <laughs> me from embarrassment. Wow. You get it. I get it. So I am trying to look at you rapping and Maros is there asking in his head like what the hell is happening in this world. Really? <laughs> to get that thing. I get it. Okay, that's in Lira. Mm -hmm. Nationally. Who would be who would be your, you know? Oh, nationally, you love to collaborate with nationally. Ugandan Uganda. wide, mm. I love Azawi, I love Vinka. Okay. I, I somehow my voice looks that I love Vinka, so we would pretty much. But I love Azawi. She's good. She's good for me. Okay. Azawi works for you. Swangs Avenue, I mm -hmm. think. What about Gulu? Is it the lyrical? I love him. Okay. Yeah, he's good. Mm, do you know an artist from West Nile? That uh, you... I don't think I do. What about Karamoja? Uh, no. I know them maybe physically by their songs, but the names and names more, are. I don't think Internationally, I who would shock you if they call you and tell you, and if you get a call from their manager and say, we need a collaborate with you, who would shock you? Internationally, mm. I think I love Chris Brown. I love Chris Brown. I, I think I'm acting crazy here, but I love Chris Brown, for real. Why? Since babyhood. Yeah. Two things why you love Chris Brown. I love his dance. Mm -hmm. Me starting to love dance was following his kind of moves since I was a baby, you mm -hmm. know? Like, they keep coming from wall to wall, they dance and everything. And yeah, my first kind of dance was break dance with him. You get, but as I upgraded to dance hall and afro, but I love him, I still do. I think I love him crazy. All right. So, this song that you have brought out. What's what's the title? Get up, get up, yeah, get up. 
Give us a cappella of get up. <laughs> Straight to the camera. <laughs> all right, all right, camera. all right. Wow. Okay. The whole song or? I just need one line or may, uh, maybe a verse, something like that. A verse. All right. <gasps> I've been around the world many times trying to figure out what we're trying to be, what we're chasing. Ain't no pretty clear. Ain't nobody can really tell what we're feeling like living in a hurry boy in 85 universe. Yeah, I got haters who be flooding on my back every day. Sometimes I feel I feel I live on the world be on my own and looking for myself and trying to really see who I be. When mom and daddy told me never ever not to give up. Okay, to thank even you. Looking back. I've realized that rap music, ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing this as a breaking news. <laughs> rap music need food, enough food, because the way these guys can hold in their breath. <laughs> no breathing. Like, seriously. Wow. No, it needs gas, that yeah. all gas and energy. You got to hold it. You got to have enough of it. I like food. I cannot do, like, I don't you know. know it takes like, training. You got to eat a lot, but you need to have enough gas. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your last word to the fans out there. My last word is never give up. Never do. Once you discover who you are and you know what you can do, never give up. Do all it takes to be the real you. That's why I call my name Real Meats because I know I am real. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm wrapping up the show right over here. You have had the lady real me right over here. And allow me to shout out to Cafe Starling for uh, giving us this amazing space right over here. You can as well pass by and have yourself a coffee right over here. Shout out to my team at Vintage Lounge. Shout out, shout out to that is a uh, kick record. And now, of course, my producer, Emma, behind that. Thank you so much for watching. Keep following. We bring to you more of the talent right here at the Destiny Show. And because we are hosting a rapper, that's why I'm saying right now that ladies and gentlemen, whatever you're watching from, we're cutting the show right now and saying bye-bye right now. Yo, yo, we love you. <laughs>